everyone, it's Keisha Charmaine and I'm back with another episode of Lock Talk. And today's question comes from Supremia Bostic. And she asks, So, I want to start Lock soon, but I'm very nervous about the ugly stage. I have been natural for two years and my hair is like boob length. Now that, that can vary, you know, there's different levels of boobage, but I'll read on. And my hair is like boob length when pulled straight, so I'm guessing it will be shoulder length when I lock it. You never know. You never know. Shrinkage is real. You never know. Um, what I want to do is put in either twists or box braids to make the ugly stage better for me. Is that okay? Is it going to mess the locks up? Now in the past, I've started my mom's locks with Marley Twists, so uh, that experience for her, as she mentioned in one of her videos that is on my channel, she mentioned that it was really slowing down the process. However, her hair was locking, but hardly. And I basically would change Marley hair every two months. And I think I've done, I did that to her about three or four times and from day one to like the last time I took out the fourth set of hair, her locks made minimal progress. Well, if she would have had her hair out for that eight month period, her locks would have been at least half weight locked. My mom's hair is a lot looser than mine or maybe she's probably has like a 3c hair so you can imagine but if you have kinkier hair absolutely your locks will very likely be pretty locks by eight months so consider that your ugly stage if you must call it that will come and go but if you want to keep your marley hair or box braids or whatever extensions on your hair it's really going to slow down the process so keep that in mind when starting your locks or when considering extensions. Not lock extensions, I mean specifically braids on top of your locks or twists on top of your locks. If you want lock extensions, that's a different story. I'm not very familiar with that process, but I believe they add hair to the ends of your hair. So they would add from here, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. So a lot of people tend to cut it off once they become comfortable with the length that they that their own hair is at. When it comes to braids and twists, it's a little different. You add the braids and the twists on top of your existing lock or baby lock. And what that does is really limits your hair from locking because you're keeping your hair so still and so compact and it really can't move and the way locks work locks need some room to be able to to really mesh you know what i mean that's why locks tend to lock faster when you wet it when you wash them when you add mists so no i wouldn't recommend that you do that my mom did end up taking out her hair and in that video where you left the comment where i put extensions on someone's hair she ended up taking the, the extensions out and letting her hair lock the the more traditional way by just you know letting it do what it do and go and going through the immature phase not the ugly stage but the immature phase now i'm not saying that your hair won't lock with twists and braids on top because it will eventually but if you want to hurry up and get the immature phase over with I would advise you you know woman up grab hold of your ovaries and you know go through the immature phase if you need some encouragement check out my videos for baby lock encouragement it is a beautiful process it is a beautiful phase it's a beautiful step it's a beautiful stage I don't want you to avoid it I don't want you to I want you to embrace it. But again, it's your life, it's your hair. So if you want to put a braids on it, go ahead. But I won't say that it will mess your locks up as you asked, but I will say that it will hinder the locking. 
I'm, I'm pretty sure about that. It'll hinder the lock process. Thanks for your question. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you have a question, leave it below. Thanks for watching. Love, light, and locks.